recommendation to make, because we make spaces that are aesthetically beautiful and functional, it's very easy to you know, take the aesthetic side and run with it. Say aesthetics only, and then that we make things look good. That is by no means the only job that an interior designer has. We make things that are beautiful, we make spaces that are beautiful and that inspire people, but we also deal with the health, safety, and welfare components of people existing inside the built environment, whether we're talking about you know, the physical structure or we're talking about electrical, mechanical components that would enhance people's safety or their take away from their safety. That is what we're also in control of. That heavily relies on research on appropriate materials, adjacencies for life safety plans, which means if people need to exit a structure or a building, they can safely. And then also it has to deal with um, building codes, which really is the structure of how architects, planners, urban designers, and interior designers build our environment. As a professional designer in any area, I believe that uh, any kind of accreditation is extremely important. You will have more credibility when you're in the workforce, definitely. Uh, my background is as an architect. I have a bachelor's in architecture, a master's degree in architecture, but I love interior design. Uh, what I have found is I have worked in the field and I work in the school, is that the license will open doors for you. Definitely, they'll open doors for you. They will, uh, what it will do is when they, people read your resume and they have seen that you have a couple of years of practice and then you have made the effort and put a conscious effort because it is a lot of study to create and prepare yourself for the examination, they'll see that you're trying to go to another level, the level of professional. I think would, I would first suggest stay, you know, stay extremely open to any experience that you can gain. So uh, I think one of the things, you know, as you're going through kind of undergrad is you begin to, um, you know, gravitate towards maybe a focus, you know, maybe you kind of begin to fall in love with hospitality, or retail, or residential. Um, and upon a graduation, I, I mean, I think it's good to pursue, you know, maybe those areas of, um, you know, specialty, but at the same time, you know, there's tremendous value in basically in, in just any practical experience, in any work experience. Upon my graduation, yeah, I was kind of like, you know, what am I going to be doing? You know, museums and, you know, high-end modern stuff. Um, which is good to have those dreams, but there's, you know, the value um, in any, any work experience or practical experience is just, you know, uh, you can't, you know, you can't put an amount on that or, uh, you know, value on that. It's just, mm -hmm. it's invaluable.